Hi guys, so this is a recap from our training session with Diamond today. So this is sped up quite a bit, uh, so you can kind of see what we're doing when we're working on getting comfortable in that villa. Right now I'm just having the door open and we practice standing in there. He's got to either settle or look at me, and ideally he's not pushing me to get out of the room. So we learn how to handle this boundary. Now, right now I am behind him or right alongside of him. I'm not walking in front of him. Later on in this clip, uh, or actually in this video, you'll see me doing this with my office where I'm leaving him in my office and I am walking out of it. This is more, I'm right here with you. I'm not leaving you. You're safe. So helping him take a breath and relax in this space. Now, we also are working on the door opening and closing and being comfortable with it. And we get to walk out in and out a couple times and we get pets while we're in it. We get pets while we're out of it, really trying to get him comfortable with that this space, this room is safe for him. More than likely, this will be the room that we book him when it is time for our stay here. We'll also be practicing putting a, a wire kennel in here as well as in the training room and probably a couple other places to get him comfortable that if I'm in there, I'm safe. Now, I also wanted to include us messing with the agility equipment. I pulled out to get it cleaned and to just see how um, it would hold up uh, with what we had in, in the facility. And I included this because you get to see him get a little nervous and then overcome it. And then by the end of us doing this little hill, he does it all by himself. I'm not holding on the leash and he gets really excited for it. It was really cool to see his confidence uh, really blossom. And this is probably something that we're going great in our sessions is that we do something that builds his confidence each and every time. So whether it's a puzzle feeder or if it's agility equipment, it helps him go, oh, I did it. You can really see that happy tail right there <laughs> that he, he loves doing it. Fast forward through some of the other agility equipment because they were mostly, he wasn't really interested in them. But they did include us going over the pole vault. So the angle, you don't get to see that there is a pole that he has to walk or jump over. Um, and also with the sound, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but there's a couple times where he hits the bar and it clings behind him. So right there it fell, I picked it back up. And each time he walks over, even if he knocks it over, I made sure to praise him because that can be a scary thing. Right there, he got a big reward for handling something that is scary. Again, doing agility or doing trick training while we're working on some fear helps build their self-confidence that I can handle scary things and still succeed. So right there, he knocked it over, he gets a reward, we pick it back up, and then we do it again. He eventually got it beautifully, but having something that's fun and helps him problem solve with a positive association helps decrease that nervousness while he's here and also in general in life. Now I did do some self-regulation in my office. <clears throat> so with this was, can I be in a small space? Um, my office is a little bigger than a villa. But can I be in a small space with the door closed and I can hear dogs and people on the outside? So you really can see his head doing all his little tilts because he hears someone. <clears throat> and I reward him. It looks like I'm ignoring him, but I want him to learn kind of body sharing. If I'm here and I engage with the human, that human's going to give me attention and I get, I get to relax. Now, I did halfway through I start asking him for downs and sits just to help him. Hey, this is what I want you to do during this moment. Um, this is sped up by seven times. This was about a 30 minute session. Um, and I've cut some of it off so that I don't have 30 minutes of watching us sitting in the office. But you really get to see him process and look towards, hey, what do I do? Do I sit? Do I lay down? I can observe these things. It's really teaching him how to self-regulate. Now right here is what I talked about in the beginning of the clip of where we're working on thresholds with doorways. So with the 
<clears throat> villa space that he's going to be in when he boards. I was standing right next to him. This is where we just practice being calm in my office. The door is now open. I can see people, but I'm leaving him in there. Um, and he has to be comfortable with waiting at that threshold. So this is, again, teaching him self-regulation and building the, the confidence that I eventually get to come out and I also eventually get to be with the people. We will do this with the, with the villa and the villa doorway so he gets comfortable going into a room and having the door closed. But this is also is good practice for when staff are handling him. Um, he doesn't let his anxiety kind of override his mind when he's at our facilities. Now, right there with the little paws above that threshold, that's normal teenage behavior. Um, I expect it with all dogs, but he did really well on trying to settle. Now, his duration was about two and a half minutes, but not bad for the first time doing something like this with the office. It was a good day.